What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, yesterday we had the breakout actually take place on Bitcoin, which is very exciting. It happened at about 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning and just continued to soar throughout most of the morning. Then we started to consolidate back down. Now, what's awesome is we were able to get in on a trade and at, we did get stopped out, but we got stopped out in the green and we're able to lock in profits, which I think we're going to be able to continue to do as of today early on today into maybe the afternoon which is also very exciting so there's two interesting things that I want to focus on and look at I am going to delete this resistance here as I don't think it's necessary but you can see on um, Bitcoin's four hour charts here we had a beautiful symmetrical triangle which broke us bullish to the upside here buying right at this resistance we were able to leverage to the upside here put that stop loss type tightly move that stop loss up and locked in profits and then earlier this morning I actually saw that we we're starting to form another bull flag formation here on the short-term hourly charts which might yield in another breakout opportunity on bitcoin as what we managed to do is consolidate back down from 67 near overbought to 55 which is huge and i'm excited to go over that with you with that being said, XRP is still in its consolidation bull flag or symmetrical triangle formation here. Ethereum is still consolidating beautifully here as we are starting to form what also appears to be a nice uh, pennant flag formation. Solana has a little bit of consolidative movement here. We'll zoom in on that on the hourly charts here. We already went over Bitcoin and then uh, the S&P 500 seems to be in some sort of higher low pattern here, bouncing quite nicely in a higher low pattern, it might scale us higher, which would be great. I just am astonished and blown uh, blown away that we just continue to pump and pump and pump and pump and pump. Anywho, with all that being said, definitely uh, make sure to smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's get right into today's episode. So guys, super quick, before we dive into the technical analysis here, BidFi, my favorite cryptocurrency exchange, is doing a June trading challenge where you guys can earn up to $1,000 in free cryptocurrency by literally doing some trades with the link down in the description you can see the amount of trading volume it is but it's actually extremely easy to hit volume like that especially when you start leveraging cryptocurrencies but it's a great way to earn up to a thousand dollars in free cryptocurrency by participating with the link down in the description at the top below anywho moving forward and diving into today's video here what we need to focus on is on some of these major cryptos i want to start with bitcoin i know some of you guys want xrp but we'll talk about xrp it has been put on the back burner for right now but you can see we have been tracking since early May, mid-May of uh, 2024, this sort of symmetrical triangle, higher lows, lower highs, and you can see it was so clear and obvious. Notice in the past here how large the volume spikes are and the volume dips are in Bitcoin here. Then you zoom in and over the weekend, we were flatlined out, stuck, no movement, dead in the tracks, dead in the water, right here, floating sideways, doing nothing. We started to consolidate and then boom, we had the confirmation closure right above here. That's when we had that opportunity to enter. It was at 2 a.m. I entered a little bit higher, put that stop loss in as we rallied up and we got stopped out and we were able to lock in just a bit of profit here, not being greedy. However, if you bought in right at the confirmation closure, you would have been able to lock in more. Now, even if you're still in this trade, it's not too late to take advantage of another opportunity. Notice here, if I deleted these, there was some sort of formation here that I noticed when I checked this out. This is not normal. Or sorry, this is not normal. This is not unnormal uh, consolidation. It's actually forming a technical indicator. There's actually reason to this. And if we zoom in, you'll notice here how beautiful this sort of bull flag looks. Clear resistance up top here and a clear descending fractal right here. So check this out as I zoom in closer here. Well, here it is. We're now forming what appears to be a much nicer sort of fractal formation. I zoom, I pull, the, I pull these charts just a little bit here. I move these just a tiny bit. You know, we could incorporate the wicks here. It is going to be interesting. I'm going to incorporate it like this here. We'll use just the tops. Who knows? It's just playing it a little bit more conservative. But this now, yet again, appears to be a beautiful ball flag formation. Check this out. This is another confirm bull flag. This is easy. It's consolidated with multiple points of confirmation. We have three, at least three, maybe even four, one, two, three, if not even four here. Especially if we pull this lower, you can see clear as day. The amount of resistance is one, two, three, four, five points of contact here. But we're going to play a conservative scale this up here. And this then opens up another opportunity to buy in long. If we get hourly confirmation closure above resistance right here, we're trading at 50. We floated all the way down to 50 flat lined out here, trading quite nicely even on the four hour charts on uh, Bitcoin here, trading at 55. There is tons of room 
for a potential buy-in if we can confirm above price ceiling. So this is huge. Keep this on your radar because this might be a trade that we can enter literally today as early as in the next couple of hours. We're going to make a decision here. Maybe we consolidate a bit more. But once we confirm closure above that yellow resistance and we close that uh, hourly chart, we're going to buy in and we'll make those trades. Obviously, taking advantage of it on the BidFi exchange as well. We'll be able to get in and take advantage of this quite easily here. Jumping to the hourly charts, you can see yet again, you can draw it using um, BidFi's integrative, uh, what is this, uh, trading view chart here we just draw this right here and we draw the next formation and this is a clear as day technical indicator consolidating lower building up steam because we just broke out keep in mind we just broke out of a bull flag here we broke out of a four hour bull flag quite nicely and this is just a tiny bit of consolidation we're due to hit at least 72k on Bitcoin here. So to see us kind of form another consolidative pattern, it's pretty much guaranteed to break bullish. And I'm excited to see the results of that here. And hopefully you guys can take advantage of it too. Now, what's super cool about that is BidFi also offers a welcome bonus for those that haven't signed up yet. BidFi, with a link down in the description below, you can earn up to $2,888 for free by not only uh, completing the tasks uh, down here with a link down in the description, you click on these, you fill this out, which is super cool. There's a limited time event as well. But what's also cooler is then you have the trading volume challenge, which you can earn even more additional free cryptocurrency. So make sure to check out BidFi. It's free with the link down in the description below. And let's move on from Bitcoin, although we are paying close attention to this as we're getting very close to breaking out. And I'm excited to see the results of this here. We also have to look at other cryptos. And looking at XRP, you'll notice XRP has a major symmetrical triangle. I don't have much to talk about here because it is uh, a much, we have a lot more space left to fill this in. So it's not going to break out as early as we expected it to. It is going to break out, but it is going to take a bit longer here. As we fill this in quite nicely here, very similar to what's happening on Bitcoin and these other cryptos, once we get that leading confirmation closure above a daily resistance, maybe even above here, we'll see a rally to the upside or we'll see the inevitable dump, but we'll be able to leverage off that and earn crazy bits of profit, but it is going to be a little bit more drawn out. Uh, and things do change when you jump to the daily charts here. Things definitely are more in our favor if Bitcoin closes. And you can see we're already shooting that volume up. There's a good chance we will confirm closure as early as in the next hour of resistance. And we'll buy in on that. Uh, yeah, XRP is already starting to head back up to the upside here. But until we get confirmation breaches above resistances or supports, we're sitting ducks at that point for XRP. It's unfortunate, but it is something that you guys have to consider. Now, jumping to Solana's hourly, we're going to see if there's a new indicator here. I think there is. I think there's something forming here quite nicely. Some sort of resistance here, maybe even some sort of downtrend. I don't know. It's a bit too early to tell with Solana, that's for sure here, but I'll leave it to see how exactly we pan out. And then Ethereum also has a beautiful bull flag, you can see, or pennant flag. Beautiful flag pull up and then just this higher low, lower high fill in the gap movement here that at some point is going to pop. We could even move this lower, but I'm going to leave I'm going to leave it incorporating these resistances up here, these wicks here. And as we fill this in again, flat lined out on 50 on the RSI, we are going to have a decision and hopefully that one's bullish here. But again, my main focus is on Bitcoin as we are going to probably pump through this and close in less than 55 minutes. You can already see we're heading higher which is incredible. We're going to have a bit of turbulence right here. We're going to have some problems breaking through it as we have in the past year. But if we do close above it, there's a good chance we're going to see this, which is going to be so easy to capitalize on, which is why I've got to get this video out ASAP to you guys so that we don't miss out on this trading opportunity here. But keep your eyes peeled on these charts. Super easy. Everything is forming technical indicators, which I love, except the S&P. The S&P is just wacky and wonky right now. I would Fathom, it's going to head lower, but we'll see what exactly happens because you can see even with this higher low, we now kind of peaked at a top and maybe now we're going to start to form movements like this. It's a big possibility. It's almost what I would like to see happen here. But with all that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>